In this lab, you'll investigate the behavior of harmonic oscillators. In oscillators, there is a restoring force, an equilibrium position, and a mass involved in the oscillation. A harmonic oscillator is one which has two special properties. First, that the oscillations are sinusoidal and that the frequency of the oscillation is same for small and large amplitude. In this experiment, the oscillating system is a metal blade which can be set in motion either by gently plucking it with your fingers or by pushing it periodically. We use this system to study the effects of dampening on an oscillating system. We have devised a simple way to make periodic push by using a loudspeaker whose membrane is connected to the blade near the upper end. The speaker in turn is connected to a low frequency oscillator with a built-in frequency meter. To follow the motion of the blade, a sensor is mounted near the top of the blade which measures the strain on the oscillating blade. A small signal from the motion sensor is amplified by the circuit housed in the oscillator box which can then be observed on the computer. Here you can see how changing the frequency of the oscillator changes the rate at which the speaker membrane vibrates. And changing the amplitude from the oscillator also changes how much the speaker membrane moves. Here is how the blade looks like in slow motion when it undergoes simple harmonic oscillations. The position of the magnet near the blade can be adjusted to produce the desired effect of damping. To start the experiment, browse to the 109 folder and locate and launch the blade experiment file. This will launch the data studio software which you will be using to collect and see data during the experiment. To start recording, you can press the start button on the upper left corner of the screen. The output may not be centered on the graph. You can correct this by adjusting the knob behind the oscillator. Once you have done that, you can plug the blade again and observe the data which will now be centered on the x-axis. You can use the scale to fit button to change the display presentation of the graph to fit the screen. After that, you can press zoom select button and select the region on the graph you want to zoom into. You can then use the Smart Tool option to find out the amplitude and the period of the oscillation by hovering the cursor above different regions of the plot. The aim of the next part is to overcome damping by driving the oscillating blade with an external driver and find out how the oscillation changes when we change the driving frequency. Very slowly, Vary the frequency and notice how the amplitude starts small, grows, and then dies off again. You can then figure out the frequency at which the oscillation has the maximum amplitude. This is the resonant frequency. To prepare the resonance curve, record the amplitude at different frequencies. To ensure a good resonance curve, measure in small frequency steps as you get closer to the resonance frequency. You can now plot a graph with frequency on the horizontal axis and amplitude of oscillation on the vertical axis.